Hey, welcome back. In this video, I will be introducing the concept of type def in C++. So here what you're seeing is the code from our previous videos. Uh, we've been working on this code for about the last two videos, I think. And basically all this does is we, we create a vector of vectors to essentially make a matrix of values um, that we're going to print to the screen. So when we run this program, you see um, that basically we have a vector of vectors, which creates three rows. Uh, and each of those rows has five values in it. So you're seeing this three pop up and that five pop up and we're, we have a vector of vectors. Now there's a way that we can clean up this code a little bit and that's by using a type def. And so what a type def is, it's a, C, it's a keyword in C++ that allows us to rename otherwise complex types uh, into more usable names for us. So it's obviously useful for vectors of vectors because every time we want to define a vector of a vector, or anything, even just a vector, I guess, if we want, it can just get a little cumbersome and we can clean that up a little bit. So the way that we do this is we can uh, we write the keyword here, type def, and then we write what we want to be renaming. So first of all, let's rename our vector of integers. So we have vector int, and then we'll assign this a name. We'll just call it row, because that's basically what we're making for that that uh, that vector of integers uh, that's five integers long that's basically forming the rows of our matrix so we could call this anything but it would make sense for us to call it row so this is basically now what we're saying is if we define if we have this type def here uh, renaming vector int as row then instead of in our code here instead of having to use this whole word vector int we would just write row in our program now, we can also do this for uh, the entire matrix as a whole that we have here called stuff. So we can do this again, type def, and then we would write out basically the entire thing that we want to rename. Uh, we can just actually copy and paste this instead of you watching me type out the whole thing. Uh, and then we'll call this, uh, I don't know, something sensible like matrix, right? Because basically stuff is the matrix, this guy here, stuff is the matrix that we're eventually printing out to the screen and dropping values into, etc. All right, so once we have this here, once we have our type def, then what we have to do is we come in and we just drop in the name of our type def. So we'll say matrix stuff here. So you can see that if we had a program where we had, you know, this is, this is a really small program, but if we had uh, one where we're identifying all sorts of matrices, uh, matrices, we don't want to have to type this out every single time. This just kind of makes it quicker for us and it makes us easy, makes it easier for us to read because we see this word matrix and we're like, oh yeah, this is definitely, you know, like a table of values. Um, or when we see row, it's actually more clear to us exactly what we're working on now because before when it said here vector int, you know, it's, it's not, the, you're not really sure if you're working with the rows or the columns, for example. So type def, awesome to use for vectors of vectors. If we go build and run this program, uh, just to double check that what we've done actually works, you see we're getting the exact same program output. Uh, let's maybe change some of these. Uh, let's make this nine, and hey, let's let's make this one nine as well, just to see that you know I'm actually changing the code and we're not getting any errors when we run it. So there you go, we have a nine by nine matrix now, uh, and we're using type defs throughout our program. And we're using type defs uh, when we want to actually, you know interact with these these vectors and these vectors of vectors so there you go type def really useful hope that tutorial helps